Right. Hi. So I'm going to uh, tell you regarding the assignment guideline uh, in teaching in HESC. So first uh, we'll see what are the objectives. The purpose of this assignment is to evaluate learners' analytical skills, exploring issues related to the roles and challenges of the uh, preceptors in clinical setting. So uh, here the requirement, you want to discuss the roles and challenges of a of the nurse as an educator in the clinical setting and the advantages and disadvantages of being in the position of a preceptor to the student nurses. So you have to discuss about the challenges you face while uh, working as a uh, nurse educator. So we will see what are the components uh, should be included and uh, how you want to create it according to uh, the guidelines. So. These are the general guidelines you should follow. So it should uh, include 2,500 words to 3,000 words, and uh, it should contain in APA format. You all know what is APA format. So you had to follow everything according to the APA format, and uh, font uh, font size should be uh, 12, and uh, type Times New Roman, and spacing is line spacing 1.5. Then. Uh, Especially when you do the assignment, uh, it's uh, important to divide this into the, the different sections. It makes easier you to do this. So first, you have can include the introduction, then uh, discuss the roles and the challenges of the nurse as an educator, and uh, advantages and disadvantages of being in the position of a preceptor to student nurses. Uh, then uh, conclusion and finally should include, include properly uh, references and uh, during the paragraphs you have to include uh, through the paragraph through all the paragraphs if you are uh, taking something from outside sources you have to include uh, citations properly both should be uh, done that means citation and the references should be done with help of APA format so uh, here you can see how the weightage, that means how the marks are given, especially for the section 1, that means the, uh, as you can see, uh, introduction part. So for the introduction, it should contain nearly 400 to 500 words and uh, 6 marks will be given. Uh, then uh, section 2, discuss the roles and challenges of the nurse as an educator. So it should contain 1000 to 1200, so that means Basically, uh, you want to write something more related to these uh, roles and challenges of the nurses as an educator. So you can find uh, much more details by going through different sources like Google Scholar or uh, uh, OEM Digital Library or otherwise other sources you can use, PubMed or something else or research articles uh, can be used to gain uh, different information and then uh, you can put it by paraphrasing especially and then uh, cite it and finally put the references. So then uh, section 3, uh, you should include uh, to 700 words to 800 words and uh, 10 marks will be given. So it is advantages and disadvantages of being in the position of the preceptor to students. So you have to discuss what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of being in the position of a preceptor to student. So easily you can find those uh, from the uh, internet sources and also from uh, related books. So whatever you refer, put the citations and the references. And uh, finally, you can include the conclusion and references citations. So uh, you will get uh, six marks for section four and uh, file section, that means citation and references, you'll get six marks. So out of uh, 40, you can obtain marks for this session. Then uh, regarding the introduction, you need to explain the following areas especially. So this is a guideline to follow. So you have to do uh, according to the guideline. So uh, especially you can find, uh, use some keywords and find what are the contents should be included uh, from the different sites. So uh, example, uh, you can find who is a nurse, what are the roles of the nurse, 
so you know different roles are there as a nurse educator as educator as a nurse and some other professional roles of a nurse and uh, especially as a carer and uh, in this case we are talking about specially importance and the role of the educator so uh, you can include the basic uh, things in the first area that means introduction part and uh, what I am going to explain in the assignment also should be mentioned clearly uh, while you are going through introduction part. Then uh, in the section 2, you know roles and challenges of the nurse as an educator. So you know update knowledge of the nurses. So one function of the uh, working as an educator is to educate nurses. Uh, you can up update uh, knowledge of the nurses by uh, doing different uh, teaching sessions so you will know you have uh, done uh, already uh, you may undergo through different uh, learning sessions inside your hospitals or in your working areas so therefore you all know what is the importance of updating knowledge uh, for the current world so then uh, here you can see some uh, challenges that you face so increased workload with the heavy workload uh, you should manage you you have to manage your time uh, to uh, study also and also when you plan as an educator it is really difficult to make arrangement for the uh, your students for the study process then uh, shortage of nurse uh, shortage of nurses is another barrier another challenge to uh, uh, for the nursing educators and uh, increase the number of patients so these are basically uh, the areas that we uh, can see uh, as challenges of the nurse as an educator. So you should uh, cover these areas and if you can see any other area that uh, concerning uh, as a role or challenge, you can include that one also uh, from uh, different uh, areas. Then uh, advantages and disadvantages should be included in the section 3. Uh, when you are working as a presenter. So advantages examples here you can update the knowledge of the people and uh, provide quality care. So you can provide a quality care and uh, according to disadvantages uh, lack of time for patient care. So uh, previously also I mentioned regarding that thing. Then uh, finally you can include a conclusion based on this in this section you need to give uh, synthesize and analyze ideas related to your topic. You can analyze uh, regarding the teaching plans and uh, how it uh, affecting a teaching role. That means uh, as an educator, while uh, what are the uh, uh, we uh, you have discussed about uh, regarding the barriers and uh, what are the things uh, should be done to improve the quality care. So you can conclude that in this session. Then uh, finally, uh, regarding the references and citations, especially uh, always uh, students are reduced marks in this uh, area. So therefore, please, uh, co please consider this area. You will uh, lose marks for this important area as it has uh, six marks exactly. So you need to add all the references and citations according to the APA format and uh, always try to uh, paraphrase the document that means uh, you, try, uh, you, you want to try to get the general idea of the paragraph uh, when you refer any article uh, always uh, you want to try to get the you get the general idea of the paragraphs and then uh, try to write your own uh, way right so that is called paraphrase without uh, copy and pasting or without uh, writing uh, here and there of the same paragraph you want to write by your own uh, ways uh, the, by, uh, by including the same meaning so and then finally uh, even you have included that in your by your own words you have to include the citations and references properly uh, without any harm to the uh, original authors so that's it regarding the assignment uh, guideline so uh, I wish you all the best, so do the maximum and uh, create a good uh, assignment.